You see, we that we go abroad and we in a twinkle of an eye we have made it. Is that intelligence that Nigerians carry? I am not different from a Nigerian in Nigeria. The only difference is that I have the opportunity to be great. One thing I noticed about our Nigerian people is that they are exceedingly intelligent. The only thing that most of them in Nigeria lack is opportunity. Danny Free says something that his phone bought him the latest car that he's driving. The money he made through his phone bought him the latest car that he's driving. I need a lot of us Nigerians to remove the thought of it is only landed property that can make you a millionaire or a billionaire. What breaks my heart is that a lot of you are begging for urgent 2k. Me when you get phone. Me when you get urgent 2 million if you are in Nigeria that you can make from your phone. Taking job roles abroad, getting remote jobs. If you are abroad, the same thing. There are so many ways to earn using your phone. What I've noticed is that 90% of people that sign up for my courses, they have zero tech background. They, don't, they always say that they are scared when they come to me in my DMs. Mama, I don't have any, hey, I'm a beginner. Are you sure I can do it? But when I convince them and they come into class, in one week, they have gotten it. They have understood it. They are ready to go out and start getting the remote jobs. Don't let anybody make you think that you know go feed do one. Even 60 year olds attend my class and get it. Talk less of someone that is in your in your in your younger youth. I talked about artificial intelligence and AI masterclass. So of Nago, don't fear. Artificial intelligence. It sounds like it's big. But you can do it. Dissolve! <laughs> Dissolve. <laughs> You get it? If you don't get it, forget about it. Four key lessons I've learned about some women from the trending videos of Batarsa or how do they pronounce his name? But you all know who I'm talking about. The man of the year. <laughs> but one, marriage does not guarantee her loyalty or fidelity. Number two, when they want to get something without making any efforts, they are ready to make any compromises. Number three, when faced with money, women deny all moral values. Only their interests prevails. And number four, even if she is married, she'll always hope to meet a man who is wealthier than her husband and if unfortunately she meets him she'll cheat on you without pity or remorse close the door we gotta talk i can't believe you sat there and smiled and laughed and giggled all in her face like you know for a fact this neighbor be flirting with you. You know, and I know you be flirting back with her because she said, oh, I'm so happy to see you again today. <laughs> so I know for a fact, you know what you're doing and she know what she's doing. And I know what both of y'all doing. So with that being said, you want to keep on playing with me. When I tell you to come on in the house, that's what you're supposed to do. Dissolve! <laughs> Dissolve. Hey! You get it? Okay. If you don't get it, forget about it. I was one of the poorest of the poor Nigerians and I was applying for scholarship. Yes, let's let's open up everything. I am not a privileged child. I am not even I won't call myself lower class. What's below 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 lower class? That is where I belong. My family is not rich. I am not rich. Nobody's my generation is rich. I didn't have supportive rich parents. So this means that as a Nigerian applying for scholarship, I didn't, I didn't have a laptop. I didn't have a desktop. I didn't have unlimited internet access. The only thing I had was all techno, one techno phone. And I'm grateful that the techno phone could access the internet. And like many Nigerians, what I know you can use to change your situation in Nigeria is education. That's something that 
you as underprivileged Nigerian can use to change your situation. Other people can use money, other people can use connection. But one thing about Nigeria is that if you're not rich, you don't have access to money and you don't have you don't have access to connection. So I decided to use education. I used education, I started applying for scholarship. And I mapped out my plan. And my plan is that anywhere information is when it comes to scholarship, I'm going to get it. And that is what I did. I mapped out my plan. First of all, I did an, uh, a passport. That passport, when I left NYC, the first job I got, that was the one I used the money for. It was a very toxic job, very toxic environment. Didn't serve me good while well, I was there. I was there because I needed for money for passports. In fact, it pushed me to go and research how to do passports online to save money. That was when I knew that you could do your passport online with 19,500 naira then. Saved me a lot of money. Did my passport, kept it, and started applying for scholarship. I was also on that job because I knew I needed money for IELTS. So I was saving money in case I get paid for the scholarship and I need an IELTS. Why am I telling you all of this? I want to change my approach to teaching people scholarship because a lot of question people come to my dm to ask me i'll just ask myself are you ready at all we are underprivileged in nigeria we are most african child are underprivileged if you want to change your situation you have to be drastic about it and you have access to internet with information and you come to my dm to say help me get scholarship is that does that sound right when all the information i'm giving it out i'm giving it out and you just need to use your agency are you okay are you serious Desire. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> you get it? Okay. If you don't get it, forget about it.